Paramount's remake of Pet Cemetery gets a new poster, featuring an iconic line from Stephen King's novel. With the first trailer coming tomorrow, audiences recently got a glimpse of what the new version of Pet Cemetery has in store thanks a slew of first-look images. Based on Stephen King's 1983 novel, Pet Cemetery centers on Dr. Lewis Creed, Jason Clark, as he moves his family from Chicago to a farmhouse in a small Maine community. Horror soon arrives in this seemingly idyllic place. As the family cat church is run down on the busy highway near the farmhouse and Creed buries it in a nearby pet cemetery whose soil brings the dead back to life. But as Creed and his family soon tragically learn, sometimes dead is better. Related, Pet Cemetery Remake Synopsis teases an unfathomable evil with the first trailer for Pet Cemetery. Set to arrive tomorrow, Wednesday, October 9th. Paramount Pictures has released a first poster featuring the iconic Sometimes Dead is Better line. That tagline is accompanied by a striking image of someone who is most likely Lewis Creed, wielding a shovel as he makes his way through a tangle of dead branches, bones and grave markers under a menacing slate-gray sky. See the new poster below. John Lithgow co-stars in Pet Cemetery as Judd Crandall the kindly neighbor who first warns Lewis about the dangers of bringing the dead back to life. Amy Samitz plays Lewis's wife Rachel who battles her own demons, as she's haunted by the memory of her sister Zelda who suffered from a debilitating illness as a child and died a horrible, protracted death. The first movie version of Pet Cemetery changed up Stephen King's vision of Zelda by casting an older man to play the character in drag. But the new movie will stick closer to the novel's conception, with teenage actress Alyssa Brooke Levine playing the memorably creepy character. Tomorrow audiences will get to see more of the new Pet Cemetery when the first trailer drops. When discussing the movie recently, writer Jeff Buhler said he and co-directors Dennis Whitmire and Kevin Kolsch are trying to channel the dread of the book while staying away from some of the campier elements that popped up in the 1989 movie version. Though there may have been some slasher movie cheesiness to the first movie, it is still regarded as an unusually effective exercise in horror, and one of the better Stephen King adaptations of the era. It will be interesting to see how the new movie improves upon the effort put forth in 1989. It will also be interesting to see if Stephen King himself gives his stamp of approval to the new version or if it winds up alongside the shining on the list of adaptations of his books that he personally doesn't enjoy. Source. Paramount Pictures Tags. Pet Cemetery.